This is the Happy Gilmore Serve. The inventor of this serve is Mary Brasha, and she's one of the top women in the entire world. And she broke this out in the recent PPA Red Rock tournament. And I was privileged to be at that tournament and film it. And that's where I got this idea to do this video because it actually makes a lot of sense because it's gonna add so much power to your serve if you can get your momentum moving forward. Now breaking down the serve rules, we have to have one foot planted in order for the serve to be legal. So if I end up doing this run forward and I jump as I hit, that would be illegal. But that's not what she's doing. She's keeping one foot planted as she moves her momentum forward to create all of that extra power into her serve. That's why it's called the Happy Gilmore Serve. If you haven't seen Happy Gilmore, great movie with Adam Sandler. But he does this with a golf swing and she's essentially doing the same thing with her pickleball motion. One foot down and then she's coming forward into her, her shot. Something great about it is as you move forward, you don't only get more power, but you also get more spin as you lean into the ball because it creates more acceleration as you're coming through. And as you lean your body forward, your paddle face will go further downwards. So it's an absolutely brilliant serve and today I'm gonna to be teaching you it. So the first thing to pay attention to with this serve is the footwork of it all. And you really don't wanna think about it too much. All that you wanna think is that you're moving your body forward and you're ending by planting on your non-dominant foot. So as soon as you make contact with the ball, you're gonna be on your non-dominant foot, which is for me, my left foot, as I hit through the shot. If you just focus on that, your feet will take care of themselves. But just to show you guys the footwork, it's gonna be non-dominant, dominant shuffle, non-dominant hit. So here's what that footwork looks like in real time. Here's what it looks like in slow-mo. The whole point is that I wanna get as much momentum moving forward as I possibly can. Okay, the next step that we're gonna talk about is the actual grip that we wanna hold when we're doing this shot. So what you're gonna do is put your paddle totally horizontal like this with the butt facing away from you or towards you, whatever you prefer. Has this eight-sided shape. This very top bevel is where we're gonna put our inside of our index knuckle right here, as well as if we were to draw a line all the way down to the bottom of our palm. That's gonna put us, I line those two things up, that's gonna put us in Eastern forehand grip. And as you can see, when I relax here, my paddle face will naturally go down just when I'm in a relaxed position, especially when I'm down here. Hopefully you guys can pick that up in the camera. But as you can see, my paddle face is totally down. If you go further beyond that, you're gonna get more spin, but it's gonna be a little bit harder to get that motion. So I suggest that Eastern forehand grip to get started. So now that we have the footwork and we have the correct grip, it all, it's all gonna come down to the actual motion and your motion is gonna be a normal top spin serve, which I'll teach you guys right now. So the actual motion is gonna start by us drawing a C. We're gonna act like a big, huge whiteboard is right here to the side of us. Okay, the court is this way. There's a whiteboard right here in alignment with the side fence. And I'm gonna be drawing a C on that whiteboard with my paddle, specifically with this outside edge of my paddle right here. Okay, so this outside top edge, I'm gonna be drawing a C as you can see, it's that C motion. And then I finish it off with a Nike swoosh above my shoulder. What you wanna pay attention to with this motion is that you don't let it go behind you here. You wanna keep everything out in front of you. So it can go behind your shoulder here, but you don't wanna pull this way. If you pull this way, it'll be way too big of a motion and your shot's probably gonna go and hit the back fence. So you wanna keep it here, you draw that small C motion, and then you're gonna curl up the ball creating a windshield wiper motion with your paddle. Essentially all that looks like is at our very lowest point, right as we make contact, we're then gonna brush up the ball and create topspin. We wanna act like our wrist and our forearm is a windshield wiper that's cleaning off all the water from our windshield. So I'm here, I draw that C on the whiteboard and I'm windshield wiping up as soon as I come and I make contact with the ball. Remember that the motion is outwards outwards and upwards. Okay, it's not just upwards to create topspin. We have to go outwards to create that acceleration through the ball. 
and then I'm coming across my body. I finish just behind my ear with my paddle and I'm making my elbow here my nose. That's one of my best ways, the easiest ways for you guys to grasp it is you just wanna finish by making your elbow your nose. A lot of people will finish around here with their serve and a lot of the time it looks like this. Not the worst thing in the world, but you're not gonna get as much top spin as you could to bring that ball back down. So you're probably gonna hit a lot of balls either too low into the net or long because they just don't have that top spin on them. So we wanna finish up here making our elbow our nose. As time goes on, you can finish at a spot that's most comfortable for you. But especially when you're learning to serve, you wanna make sure that you're finishing up here making that elbow the nose. So now that we understand every element of this serve, we just have to now tie it together. Okay, so the footwork, non-dominant, dominant, non-dominant, non and then we're leaning forward into the court as we finish through our shot. Our grip, we're holding an Eastern forehand, which looks like this. And then our actual motion, motion, we draw that C on the whiteboard. It finishes with a Nike swoosh. As we create that windshield wiper up the ball, we finish at our non-dominant shoulder. Something that will really help you with that is catching your paddle with your non-dominant arm up high over that shoulder too, to just remember to lock it into place up there. Okay, now that we understand the motion, let's tie it all together, starting with that footwork. Hardest thing is gonna be you guys finishing high. You're gonna to wanna to finish down here, especially when your momentum's going forward. So just do your best to finish high. You'll see that you have a lot more top spin on the ball. Step, step, and then I'm up here, creating that top spin. Step, step, up here, creating that top spin, catching my paddle high. Okay, now so you guys can just see a different angle of this serve. Momentum's going forward, and I'm just plowing through that as hard as I can. Remember, I'm keeping that arm like a noodle, really nice and relaxed. Accelerate. That's gonna ultimately create that top spin to bring my ball back down into the court. If you wanna learn the airbender serve, which I promise you do, click right here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.